Hi, this is another tutorial on how to use the DAS to Blender bridge, and this time we'll try some of the more advanced options, uh, morphs and subdivisions. So I have the previous figure here loaded, and uh, I have her selected, and I go to File, Send to DAS to Blender bridge, and uh, again, we'll leave it Skeletal Mesh here, and let's enable morphs and click Choose Morphs. And I'm going to click Victoria 8.1 and just grab the Girl 8 morphs there. Just so the full controller morph in the body and the head and click Accept. And I'll click Accept again to transfer that to Blender. And we'll wait for that to finish. And I click OK and start up Blender 3.2. And once again, I press A to select everything, X to delete these beginning objects in the scene. And if you don't want to do that every time, go up to File, Defaults, and Save Startup File. And so it'll start up with a clean scene next time. And up here, this little arrow opens up the Blender tool shelf, and we want to find the DAS to Blender tab, and click Import New Genesis, and click once more to confirm our choice, and wait for our figure to import. All right, our figure is now imported, and you see that under Morse list, we now have some uh, shape keys. So girl 8 body, if we click that and drag across, you see that uh, the body morphs. And it's morphing not just the, the figure, but the clothing as well. And if I do the same with the, the head, you see that the head morphs and the hair morphs along with it too. So I'll turn off these two. And the girl 8 you see that there is some morphing going on, but it's not uh, uh, connected together yet. So that's uh, a known bug that will get fixed in the later release. So let's turn on the body and the head for right now. And let's uh, go in here, and I'm going to select the visor, and uh, let's just go ahead and delete that. All right, and we'll zoom in towards the head to see the, some of the facial features here. And I'm going to turn on wireframe geometry here so that we can see it in more detail. And I'll turn off the bones so that the viewport is less cluttered. And if I zoom in, you'll see that the geometry uh, especially around the nose, is not that detailed. And the reason is, is this is a uh, Catmull Clark subdivision surface, and it's base resolution zero. So this is the lowest resolution, and we need to add some subdivision here. And since uh, version 2.8, Blender has had that built into uh, the program natively. So I'm going to select the face here, and here we'll see this wrench. And I'll click that, and these are the modifiers. And you see a subdivision modifier here. And set to Catmull Clark, and the levels on the viewport is zero. And I'm just going to turn that up to one. And uh, let's turn off optimal display here. What that does is it will draw all of the, the faces. And so I'll go back to zero. And you see that with each level, it adds uh, four additional faces to the original face. Let's go up to level two. And there you have the face. Much better detail now. And this is a, the Catmull Clark subdivision surface is a, is actually an infinitely uh, smooth surface, or it can describe an infinitely smooth surface. So you can go as high as you want here. And um, 
let's just put that back to one. And I'm going to select the eyelashes here. And the uh, subdivision surface isn't added here yet, but I'll go up to add modifiers. And under uh, generate, we have subdivision surface. I'll add that in there. And you'll instantly see that it's popped to level one subdivision. And let me turn on op turn off optimal display again and go back to zero so you'll see the difference. So this is level zero and level one and then level two. So that is how you use the built-in uh, native subdivision surface support for Blender. And now, so I've seen some messages on the forums about the eyelashes not rendering correctly, but here if uh, you uh, turn on the render view, and let's turn off the real-time render and go to a, a full uh, rendered image. 